This is an interesting problem from Pathfinder. We have a box. There is a rope partly inside the box, partly outside the box. And when the rope is pulled outside the box through this slot, there is a slot. There is a friction force with, and which has the value of F. And the rope, most interestingly, is stretchable. It can stretch and the constant like we have for the spring constant here it is k so first of all since we will be dealing with rope in parts so whenever you have a spring constant k for any length l and you have to take spring constant for part of the length and that length is l dash so remember this formula because spring constant if you cut it in parts it is inversely proportional to length so the rope which is outside has the spring constant k dash which is equal to k l upon l zero now another thing which is given in the problem is that we are pulling this rope out slowly slowly is the word which is mentioned so whenever slowly is mentioned in physics it means velocity is zero acceleration is also zero and it is in equilibrium all the times so naturally when you start applying the force you will apply the force slowly so there is some force f when the force is applied whether the rope will move or not will depend how much is the force so if f is less than equal to f rope will not move out will not slide out so you have only the outside part but since it is stretchable it will start stretching and let us see that it comes to a new position so if i take this as the reference point let me draw a shaded portion here this is the reference point so it comes out by say delta i till such time f is less than less than capital f so when here f becomes equal to f and after this point the rope starts sliding and stretching both now let us complete the first part first when the rope is being stretched the force which is acting on the rope is equal to the constant k of the rope into the stretch length which it is stretched so let this be x at any point of time from the reference point and there may be small further displacement which is by dx and this is the force which is acting so the work done will be by the external force work done will be f times dx where f is variable value of f is k dash x and it is dx and what is the value of x varying from x is varying from here x is 0 and here x is delta i so 0 to delta i is the work done in part 1 and what is the value of k dash k dash will be k l upon l 0 and here it will be x square upon 2 and the limit of x is 0 to delta i so that is work done in first stage now in the second stage the rope is both moving and stretching so if you try to see that part of the rope which is stretching and moving and try to calculate the energy and all it, it is going to be very difficult so best thing is let us keep on looking at the force so work done here is f dx integral 0 to delta i total work done plus the work done in the second stage if the force here is f dash let us write it as f dash x dx and it is varying from delta i to final whatever is the length there here it's from the reference point we'll calculate this also what is this actually when the rope comes out if you see the entire thing when the rope comes out one end is here and another end is here so this distance will be l plus delta final which is the stretching which has taken place in the total rope so from the reference point it is l plus delta final minus l0 and this is actually how much then 
L plus delta final minus L zero minus delta initial. I hope these these are clear because unless this is clear, this problem cannot be solved. So if I go back to this force F dx is the work done zero to delta i plus F dash whatever is the force dx delta i to what is the final distance of x this don't write this because i am writing x i am measuring x from here so x is from delta i to this length which is l plus delta f minus l0 so if i write it very clearly f dx 0 to delta i plus delta i to L plus delta F minus L0 F dash dx. Now, if you see F was variable, I have already in fact solved this part. This part after solving comes as KL upon L0 into x square upon 2 and x is varying from 0 to delta i. Now, let us see what happens in part 2. Part 2, when the, let us go back to part 1 first. When the rope has come here, it has stretched. The moment F the pulling force becomes equal to the friction force and we have to move it slowly so the rope without accelerating rope starts moving so the force remains now constant and this force the f dash is actually nothing but constant force f dx delta i l plus delta f minus l0 so let us put the values further what what was the value of delta i delta i i calculated somewhere delta i was how much when i was stretching the rope and this is delta i actually this was l0 if i do it there it will be a lot of watch watch here it is delta i means when f is equal to f it is delta i so the stretching in the rope which was having length l0 is delta i when f is f and this is an equilibrium position so k dash delta i was equal to f and k dash was k l upon l0 delta i is equal to f so delta i was f l0 upon k l f l0 upon k l is delta i so let us put the value here values here it is k l upon l0 into 1 upon 2 and delta i square will become f square l0 l0 k l l and here it is f times l minus l0 plus what is delta f now delta f it's very easy what is the final stretching total stretching in the in the rope it is always in equilibrium so f is the force and finally the spring constant will become k it is varying all through when you, when you are moving in between the spring constant is varying but i don't want the intermediate positions i want the position the value of uh, the extension when the total length is out and that time spring constant becomes k so it is k times into delta f so delta f is equal to f upon k so it becomes f upon k minus delta i is f l0 upon k l. Let us see whether the answer is correct because on tab it is very difficult to focus. We have to look at screen, we have to look at your hand eye coordination, screen eye coordination, brain coordination, recording coordination. It is really not a very pleasant experience recording it's very very bad let me tell you uh, it is not a pleasant experience anyway so f square l0 here it was i think k square yeah so one k is cut f square l0 upon twice k and here it is plus f if there is any mistake please correct it as i said focusing is very difficult in such situations plus f square upon k, here it is l also, k, f square upon twice k l, yes, one l was there, f square upon k, 
minus n square l upon k l. So the answer should be f l minus l zero plus f square upon k one plus one upon two l zero upon l minus l zero upon l. So it is f l minus l zero plus f square upon k 1 minus l0 upon twice l should be the answer.